One of the opportunities that arises with big data is that the data footprint is often available in real time and you can process it in real time and intervene in real time. For example, call centers. You might have heard the phrase, this call might be recorded for training and quality assurance purposes. All right, that always comes at the beginning of the call. Uh, now you might think that they give you, they ask you for this permission because the head of human resources quietly listens in to make sure that you're treated well. Well, yeah, that's usually not what happens. <laughs> it's often some 10 million algorithms that listen in and classify your personality as you talk in real time. So this actually, this insight comes from some work at NASA. So NASA in the, in the 60s, when they set up the space program, one of the big concerns they had is that people had to get along in space for quite a considerable time, for a couple of weeks, you know, and if you set a couple of machos in this tiny capsule for a couple of weeks, you know, the tension can build up uh, quite significantly. The Russians, for example, interestingly, they had almost a space homicide at one time. So they had to take daily blood samples from each other. And one cosmonaut was so upset with the other one that he rammed in the needle into the arm to the bone of the other cosmonaut and it got infected and they had to abort the space mission. They had to return a home. And that's so that's a big, very cost problem, the human factor. So NASA developed kind of personality profiles and they started to study who gets along with whom in these personality profiles. Uh, the most important work was done by Dr. Kala, a psychologist, and he classified personalities into six categories, which nowadays roughly you could call them emotions driven, thoughts driven, reactions driven, opinions driven, reflections driven, and actions driven people. And the interesting thing is that Dr. Carla was able to identify the personality just by listening how people were speaking. So just by the words, the kind of words and how you use the words that come out of your mouth, he was able to say, well, you're an emotions driven person or you are a thoughts driven person or an actions driven person. So modern call centers now have started to adapt this kind of technology to classify you, your personality as you speak on the phone. And with that, they match you with like-minded people. So for example, somebody who's an actions-driven person, I'm, I'm usually I'm interested in actions, me personally. So when I call the call center, I don't want to hear a lot of excuses. I have a lot of other things to do. And I just say, well, okay, I understand. Please correct the bill or give me a coupon or something. Let's just let's get off the phone. Let's do some action and let's get off the phone. So I'm interested in that. Other people, they might call the call center and it's really important for them just, you know, to, to feel understood, to cry a little bit. And it's really important that the other side also says, yeah, I understand that must have felt horrible. You know, there was a really big problem you had there. And so what they find is if they match emotions driven person with emotions driven person, actions driven person in the call center with actions driven person, call duration on average is cut by half and customer satisfaction almost doubles. Now, if you, of course, if you get an emotions driven person together with an actions driven person, the one just says, give me a coupon, give me a coupon. And the other one just says, well, I understand the pro So it doesn't really, it doesn't really match. Customer satisfaction is not there. So there are big opportunities that arise by real time uh, processing and a significant percentage, not all call centers have this technology yet, but a very quickly increasing percentage uh, of the call centers use it. Sometimes often the other person on the other end of the line of the call center doesn't even know. So it's just the software that routes. Once the call center knows you and knows your number, they already know your personality profile. So it just routes you to be connected to somebody on the other end of the line who has a very similar personality profile to you.